Eight months ago, we began developing a Chrome extension, which we are excited to announce today. The Smart Scout Chrome extension is the best Chrome extension on the market, period. It gets you to profitable opportunities faster and lets you understand products and profitability in ways better than anyone else can. And today, we're gonna to show you exactly how it works. Starting at the top, we're gonna to notice that we have a form factor that's familiar. We decided to take a sidebar approach to the Chrome extension, which offers awesome stability. We'll start here at the top and work our way down. We have a prime product here that I'm using as an example. One of the things that we wanted to solve for for our product details cell is we know that it's really important that you get that top level information as quickly as possible. And so we incorporated one click copies for the title, the ASIN and the UPC. We also built a one click Google search button for UPCs so that you can see what's on the market at the moment instantly. Additionally, we have click throughs to the brand. So in this case, Prime Hydration through to Smart Scout. And we also have this little guy here which tells us that there are potentially 22 high opportunity products available in Prime Hydration. So overall, product details, really slick, really clean. The last thing I'll also mention is we have a save functionality or favorites functionality that can add any of your favorite products to a Smart Scout collection, which is a really fun feature we'll get to in a minute. Perhaps the most exciting part of the Chrome extension, which will save you the most time and get you to opportunities faster is our opportunity score. This is awesome because we give every product a grade on a scale of one to 10. And this product at the moment is currently showing an 8.3 out of 10. Up here when we said that Prime Hydration has 22 opportunities, that's all opportunities that are above a seven out of 10. So with this current product, we're reading an 8.3. What is the opportunity score? Let's dive in real quick through our score breakdown. And we can see here that the opportunity score takes into account a multitude of different factors. We see that our estimated sales is relatively high. Amazon presence is zero, which we love to see. Our sales ranks drops are getting higher, which means this product is gaining traction and popularity. And we also see that the out of stock rate is at about 6%, which means that there's some opportunity to deliver some stability there, which is, is pretty good, but that could be better. Whoever's supplying this product we know is has some good inventory. And then finally, price stability is at a one, which is great. We want the price to stay predictably at the point that we expect it to be. So uh, this is a work in progress. However, we're gonna be including some variables down the road regarding profitability and private label status. So look forward to those updates. More about opportunity score later. Let's move on to our snapshot view here though. This makes understanding whether or not you can sell a product profitably extremely easy. The first thing we show you is whether or not you are eligible to sell the product on Amazon. We pull this information directly from Amazon using your seller API, which you connect to the Chrome extension with in the beginning of uh, the download process. And so as you can see, we are currently eligible to sell this product here. Let's move on to listing issues. Listing issues is great because it flags potential difficulties with selling a product, whether it be Amazon presence, whether it be potentially being private label. Uh, we have all of them listed here in the settings. Uh, we also list hazmat. Uh, we list whether or not it's a variation and we also list whether or not it's oversized. This is also work in progress. We're going to be incorporating a few others down the road. So right now we can see that it currently is tagging variation and private labels, currently flagging variation of private label. So we can actually click on variation here and we can see how this current product stacks up against the other variations in this listing. And we can see that this one doesn't even make the top eight, which we show here. The top product in terms of sales is this blue Prime Hydration product here, which does about 2000 unit sales. And so if we wanted to, we could select for product that has higher sales and lower FBA sellers using this variation drill down. And then of course it's returning private label, which means that the current competitive FBA sellers is, you know, one. Uh, anytime that's one we know that there's a chance something could be private label, but it's worth digging into. Let's move to unit cost and sale price next. 
These are the first two inputs that you're gonna see on the Chrome extension. We've chosen to make this very, very simple. We actually default unit cost to about 50% of the buy box price. Uh, for this product, I've adjusted it to be a little bit lower so that we can kind of get an idea of profitability. But as you can see, our current max cost is about $13.97. Let me show you what happens when I type $14 in for a unit cost. Boom, 0% margin, we're actually losing three cents per unit sold at a sale price of $22.99. So this makes it really, really easy to sit here, plug in a single number and see whether or not you're gonna be profitable based on the price you think you're gonna get for that unit. We also include BSR and 30 day sales to kind of get an idea of the scale of the product and how popular it is. And we also do this really cool thing called 30 day sale share, which is essentially predicting if you were to sell this product, how many unit sales would you personally get? And so this currently is predicting about 846 units sold, assuming you had the inventory to sustain those sales. Next, we have our snapshot advanced settings, which are for sellers that understand things like their unique unit prep costs, uh, their unit inbound shipping costs, which is shipping something to Amazon after you've purchased it. And then we also have an other units cost for miscellaneous things uh, that you might have. What that does for us is that helps understand the total unit ROI, which is a really nice number a lot of people use. And then directly underneath this, once you've put in all of the inputs the way that you like it, we can finally predict what kind of throughput we're gonna have with any given product with our units purchased input. So if I were to put 30 units, that would stock out in approximately 1.1 days. This product moves quick. With an initial investment of about 541 and an estimated revenue of about 690, which again is a 28% unit ROI and a 22% margin. Advanced settings for advanced sellers, uh, but yet still simple and powerful. Let's say you're curious though about what is going into the profit and the margin on this product. We have a cost breakdown, which helps you understand every single itemized cost, where it comes from, whether it's Amazon or whether it's from you or whether it's even estimated. And so with this current product, it looks like we have a subtotal of costs of about $9.02. And then when we add our unit cost, which I currently have at $9, we have a total cost breakdown. We have a, we have a cost breakdown totaling about $18.02 out of the current sale price, which is $22.99. So really useful cost breakdown, really easy to read. Now this wouldn't be a smart Scout Chrome extension unless we dived into a little bit of brand research. So we've included a brand analysis cell, which is really great. We inject some of our Smart Scout dashboard here in uh, the brand analysis cell. So for Prime Hydration, we can see they do about $1.2 million of revenue a month. We can see that their average selling price is about $38. And their brand score, which is referring to the quality of the brand overall in terms of listings is an eight out of 10. So they are doing quite a bit of work to make sure their listings are up to spec. What I love though is their average FBA sellers is 2.4, which is such a sweet spot because it's not so low that we know that this brand is exclusively private label, but it's also not so high that it's super crowded. So great opportunity here. Next we have average rating, which is referring to the, again, just average rating of our product out of five stars, which is currently returning 4.3. And then something else I love about this brand is the Amazon in-stock rate is only 3%. So Amazon is not present on this brand by and large. We also kick back the number of ASINs on this brand and the average product size. So you can get an idea of you know, how big this brand usually sells its products in, which is great. Now we're gonna come to my favorite feature in the Chrome extension, which is actually brand opportunities. If we scroll back up to the top, we have this little button here next to the brand, which says 22 opportunities available. If I click on that, it auto scrolls and we see the, the currently the top eight opportunities out of 22. And right here, I can see that there is a red, white, and blue prime hydration ice pop that has an opportunity score of nine. You can already see that this quickly becomes a rabbit hole where you're just diving into many, many products really, really quickly and you're able to qualify them faster than ever using Smart Scout reverse sourcing via brands and our opportunity score, which is just absolutely addicting if I'm being honest. And so if you ever wanna just jump into the full brand and go super deep in the data, we have click-throughs all over the place that allow you to jump into Smart Scout and take a look at this brand on the web app, which is super, super useful. So that's brand opportunities, that's our brand analysis. Really great for reverse sourcing. Last two cells, we have our collections feature, which allows you to quickly see and navigate your favorite lists on Smart Scout. 
So right here you can see that I have a collection of various products here which I can add and take away just clicking that heart icon. It also saves the current margin for a product. And so like for example, these red, white, and blue prime pops, the margin was 40%, sorry, negative 40%, so I can remove that from my favorites list. As you can see, this Prime Hydration product, it currently has negative 40% margin, so I'm just gonna remove that here by clicking that heart. I won't have to see it again on this collection. Additionally, we have a one-click copy for ASINs, uh, and then we also have the ability to just look at the product image if we hover over that. So really easy to use, really simple. You can select which collection you want to look at, by the way. So again, this is all managed on Smart Scout. And if I click that link there, I can manage the collections more in depth, rename them, see the granular data, that sort of thing. So super, super useful, super, super easy way to interact with our favorite products on the Chrome extension. Finally, in our settings, we just have a default inputs uh, section here. So if you know that your unit prep cost is pretty much the same thing, you know, on average, you can save that, you can save your inbound unit shipped to Amazon cost, and you can save any other miscellaneous costs. You can also change the unit cost percentage that's default that we currently have at 50%. So if you're like, hey, in this economy, I'm not sure, maybe I should set this to 55 or 60%, you can totally do that. And as you can see here, I have this default at 60%. So if we change that to 50 and save, we get a little green check box when that's done. Cool. By the way, everything is collapsible. It remembers what configuration you last had it at. So you can customize this extension to look exactly the way you'd like. If you want the opportunity score breakdown open by default, you just open it and leave it. So super, super useful. The last feature I'll touch on is our history charts down here. We've chosen to include some history charts just in a really simple form factor. We have one view monitor here for these that you can just toggle on and off based on what you wanna see. Uh, allows you to really zoom in super, super quick, get to the data that you want and then bounce. So really, really simple. Overall, we are extremely excited to deliver the Smart Scout Chrome extension to you guys. And we're excited to hear what you think. If you ever wanna give us feedback, go ahead and click on this beta button at the top left-hand corner of the extension. You can tell us what you think. We're excited to hear about it. We're excited to take what you give us and make it even better. So make sure to download it, hop on the Chrome extension for free, start selling on Amazon, start making some money. Now that we've shown you all the features of the Chrome extension, I'm excited to announce that we are launching this for free. You heard right, for free. Right now we are giving you 1,000 monthly uses for free, full access, no features barred. Get in here, download the Chrome extension and start making money. Find opportunities faster with Smart Scout.